What is up guys? Tony here. Um, I was really hoping to not have to make this video, um, to be honest with you. Um, if you've seen any of my past videos, you know I'm a huge fan of Motorola devices. Um, my last five devices have been Motorola's. I went, I had the stylus originally. I think I went through two generations of that. I went to the Edge series. Now, my last one was the Edge Plus 2022. Now the Edge Plus 2023. That's actually what I'm filming on right now. Um... Super pumped about it because I absolutely love my Edge 2022. The only reason I'm, I even considered upgrading that phone because I thought it was the perfect phone was because I did drop my phone uh, pretty early on when, when having it, unfortunately, in a case and cracked the screen at the bottom. Luckily, it wasn't in a, in a place that was too bad um, to still use it for a while because I you know, was making payments on the damn phone. I didn't want to have to go and drop 150 to, to replace the glass, but... um. And then I ended up going uh, on a little trip down to Columbia, went on some boat ride where my phone got freaking drenched. Um, so com combination of the water, the cracks, I, I said there's no chance this phone's even going to survive. I actually did. Didn't think I had any problems until I came back. And it seemed to have some sort of issues with the service here, um, with the receiving texts and calls and, and such. The, I think the water got in there and kind of jacked it up a bit. But long story short, I would have kept that phone to the grave, honestly. Um, I would say if I had one thing on that phone that I would have, uh, liked to have, other than obviously not a cracked screen and water damage, was the on-screen fingerprint reader. Um, I had it on the side. It has, like, that power button on the side fingerprint, which I actually thought that was my preference over, like, the one on the back, and I had never used one in the front on the screen, the under-display fingerprint reader, um... But after time, I kind of realized, like, using my phone in my car and stuff, that the, the on-screen fingerprint would actually be a little more convenient. And sometimes I would, I didn't necessarily like that when I pulled it out of my pocket, um, you know, it, your finger would already be on that power button and unlock it. So sometimes I'd put it back in my pocket, you know, and it would be unlocked. So the on-screen fingerprint reader would have been it. Really the only thing extra I needed on, on the Moto Edge Plus 2022. So... The 2023 obviously had that feature, had a little faster refresh rate, has the edges, the curved edges. I don't know if I really need that, but um, it does look pretty. And uh, I think the cameras might have been a little bit better, um, maybe a little bit newer chip. Um, so everything overall a little bit better. Obviously, it's a newer model, so you, you want that. So great, you know, fine and dandy. Um, <laughs> so... Get my new device. I managed to get it on sale. It was selling for like 800 bucks brand new. Um, you know, made sure I bought it on the computer. If you ever buy anything, buy it on the sync computer because you can use those Capital One apps. It used to be Honey, but I think Capital One bought it out where it actually finds any of the, the coupons on the web that you can, and it'll try and use them on the site. So I was able to get the phone down to like, I think 675 from from 800 So that's a pretty sweet discount for a brand new flagship device. And like I said, I loved the last one. So I was pumped. You know, the, a Motorola lets you do the monthly payments through them. Um, you know, so I can't remember what it worked out to be, but it was a great deal. Um, you know, and I had no, um, I didn't go into it thinking that I would ever really get rid of this phone because the last one I didn't want to besides the screen issues. So I uh, got the phone, a uh, beautiful phone, got that sucker logged up, loaded up, got my stuff in, um, super easy to obviously transfer it over with your Moto, you can actually just plug plug the cord in from the new phone to the old phone, it'll bring literally everything over, and when I say it brings things over, it literally puts the applications in the exact same spots that you have on your screens, so like your setup that you already have on your main screens on your device are literally downloading and going in the exact same spots as you already have them in. It's freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, got it all set up and um, load up my Instagram app, uh, which probably the most used app for me at least. Um, you know, great, great for boredom really. Um, and then I have a Instagram for my love hate hotels, um, like the books that I wrote, and I kind of keep the Instagram going. It's like a hotel, it's like a meme page for hotel workers. So I, I do use it pretty frequently. And uh, go to post something on Instagram, um, 
and the cameras is like just showing like all black um on on the instagram app and i'm like mm, that's that's kind of strange you know it was showing me the little green light up in the top right as if it was recording um but it was just a black screen when i tried to flip it to the front you know the front facing camera froze up and had to exit out of the app i'm like oh boy here we go you know I'm like, well, okay, maybe it was just because I started up the phone, still loading up, like did not really think much of it, restart the phone, you know, everything's probably probably fine, not wanting to overreact, and um, kept happening. Um, looked up some results online, you know, and, and a lot of people apparently used to have this black screen issue on Instagram on, on, on certain devices, so I tried every tutorial under the sun every youtube video to try and get this thing corrected and none of the issues were fixing it so i'm like something something's going on here come to find out when i would have the issue i would go back to the camera app with the moto the moto camera app that came on the device and it was freezing up just giving me like a like a gray screen and the buttons at the bottom would like be, appear flicker disappear the camera app would crash out and so I'm like, hmm, you know, this this seems like something's wrong with the camera on this device, not just the Instagram. Um, later checked other applications, you know, Twitter, YouTube, other ones that can use um, other social media uh, apps that, that can use the camera to see if they were working on there. It did. Then it didn't the next time. It would just it would freeze up. It's kind of same thing as Instagram. Just give me a black screen. Um I even tried Instagram on the web, tried to do the camera on there, same thing. The Moto camera would freeze up, just give me that dark screen, buttons would flicker, disappear. So I did it all, system reset, which obviously I didn't want to do after transferring all my data, even the system reset without bringing over my old stuff. So I actually <clears throat> tried to download like the Instagram on my own to see if it was still doing that, if it was, you know, just Instagram. Still the same problem. Like, no matter what I did, still the same problem. But I would pull up the Moto app, frozen, have an issue. But it kind of seemed like Instagram was like a catalyst for the camera not working. It was very strange. Man, I hit up all the chat rooms, nothing. I couldn't I couldn't get anything other than people, Other, I saw that other people were mentioning the issue on the Moto Edge Fusion 40 or whatever it's called, so another newer moto device long story short motorola said send it back we'll we'll check it out see if we can repair it send back um either that one or or a like new device which pissed me off because it was a brand new phone like why are you gonna send me a like new device instead of a new one you just sent me the new one that's not working why are you gonna send me back a like new one but that's a whole nother topic i could do a whole nother video on moto support but i'm not going there um long story short get the new phone you know, a whole week later, because you got to send it back. Then you got to switch it back to your old phone for that whole week. Then here comes the new one. I'll switch it back over. So I'm like, hopefully this thing works fine, whatever. Nope, same exact issue. I had to call Motorola again. S do the same thing over again. Nothing was working. They asked me to send it back. Same thing. I'm like, damn, like, this is bad luck, you know? But this was two devices now the same brand new device that had the same issue well one was new one was that the replacement that they sent me was actually a like new device because they apparently couldn't repair the first one so that was first red flag there because why wouldn't they just repair it and send me that back you know something sketchy about that i ended up having to send it back again listen to this and get another device that means my third one with the same issue and I was fuming to even when they were forcing me to do that because I was like, well, I already got two that has the same issue. Why the hell am I going to do it one more time? So I was like, whatever. It was the only thing that they would do with the warranty program. They wouldn't let me get a refund and they wouldn't let me switch models, which I was just, at that point, I was so pissed. I was like, let me just switch models and get one that works. Like get, get, get another device from Moto that works. Um, or hopefully it works. I don't know. Um, their device, same problem. So I'm like fuming, calling everybody in support. Support's hanging up with me left and right. You wouldn't believe how many times I had to recall these people just because they weren't giving me any solutions. I was like, that's not a solution. Resending my device. I have to keep sending back my device and you send me back another one. How many? I'm going to send back 100 devices because clearly you guys have a problem going on. Got on some more chat rooms. Other people were having issues. 
the only solution I found, and I don't even know how I found the solution, I had to dig through the interwebs, was to download an older version of Instagram, and it worked. Now, <laughs> I was like, okay, I can, I can deal with that, that's fine, I like the phone beyond that. Here's the problem. Even with turning off the auto updates on, on the Google Play Store, and actually the older Instagram app doesn't even let you turn off auto updates on there. So, But if you turn it off in the Google Store, in essence, it should, it should tell you every time and have to actually manually click update. It doesn't do that. Well, it does sometimes, but it'll update automatically. <laughs> so I'm currently on the phone. I've had it probably for two weeks now where I'm just like dealing with it. And unfortunately, to this day... None of the Instagram upgrades have fixed it. I've given up on on uninstalling the new one and reinstalling the old version of Instagram because it's freaking annoying doing that every day. Because Instagram, for whatever reason, keeps auto-updating it, and uh, it's pissing me off. Um, so now I just have to manually, if I want to take a picture or video on Instagram, I just have to literally do it on my camera, upload it through Instagram, which is freaking annoying. And that's not only if I want to upload a story or anything, but let's say you're in a chat with a friend and you want to send them a picture in the chat. Nope, black screen. If you flip it to the other uh, camera, freezes up, crashes out. Then your camera app is going to crash. Your YouTube using the app. Your Twitter using the app. Or using the camera, using the camera. Gone. So it's a major glip, glitch, and I think Motorola knows it. Um, the chat rooms, nobody's come up with any solutions in there, and that's for this device, but I'm seeing it a lot more for that Moto Edge Fusion 40 or whatever it's called. Um, so clearly they're having that same problem there. Um, and, you know, Motorola was, was kept trying to quick to blame it on, on Instagram, which I could see where they're coming from with that, but here's the thing. My last phone, the Moto Edge Plus 2022, was working just fine. I had no issues. Um, I had even switched to a Samsung S23 for a hot minute because I wanted like a smaller phone. Didn't really like the Samsung UI. I had used it years ago, but I kind of forgot. But the Motorola operating system is beautiful. Um, and, uh, it worked perfectly fine on Samsung. So I'm like trying to tell Motorola, like, I didn't have this issue on these other devices. And I didn't have any issues on their camera after using these apps either. So clearly it's something going on internally with you guys. It's not because every other phone would have this issue. Every other Android or every other Moto would have this issue if it wasn't, even if it was just an Instagram issue. So long story short, Motorola's got a problem and I think that they know it. And the reason I say that is because both times they didn't, they couldn't repair the phone that I sent back and they sent me back a different one. So if they could repair it, or repair it, and I doubt they even tested it, why would they send me back a different one both times? You know, so that that means I went through, yeah, th three different phones, multiple people online having the same issues. Clearly they got a problem. And, and none of the chat rooms, I even saw on Motorola support chat rooms, the lady chatting with them can't come up with a solution. Obviously nobody on the phone I talked to, a million people couldn't come up with a solution either. So, um... Something's going on. Motorola's got a major problem because, like for example, me, I'm kind of making do with it for now. If if it was if it was a, an app that I didn't really use that much, I don't think I would care. But literally, the app that I use the most, Instagram, for not only personal pleasure but also for business, like that's not good. Um, so unless Instagram or Moto does an update where, where it starts working all of a sudden. Man, I, I got to get a different device. I mean, this is, it's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, and that's what I was trying to explain to Motorola. I was like, to get a refund or, or let me get a different device that works because, I mean, a different model. Because, you know, you get a brand new phone and the number one reason you use the phone, the number one app you use on the phone, probably most people in the world can't use it. Like, can you imagine being a kid now and TikTok didn't work on their phone? Like, what the hell? Get rid of it and get another one. You know, it's like there's no purpose of having that phone if that's the reason you use that phone. So, uh, I think Motorola's got a problem. I think they know it. And I'm hoping to come up with a solution because other than that, this phone is nice. But uh, it can be as nice as it can. But if the main thing I'm using isn't working, I don't want it. So, I'm looking at getting another device. Um, and that's what I told Motorola. I said, what? So, I'm just supposed to sell this online on the market and just, you know, lie to people and tell them it works perfectly fine when it doesn't 
I said, how's that logical at all? And they kept, you know, they kept telling me, I kept saying, well, can you give me a solution? And their solution was send it back. We'll try and repair it and send it back. I'm like, that's not a solution. How is that a solution? doesn't fix anything. I'm just going to keep sending this thing back. I have to switch back to my old phone, switch back to the new one every week. Like, that's not a solution. So needless to say, after this, if, if Moto doesn't fix this in like a month, I'm definitely getting a new device, not Motorola. And I probably won't ever have a Motorola ever again, which is crazy. And I wouldn't ever suggest them ever again, even if I've had five phones with them. Because of this experience with the phone, with support, um, and not having a physical store to be able to go and get, get help with. I mean, say what you will about Samsung, and, and I'm not huge on, on their UI, but at least I can go to their store. Same thing with Apple, at least you can go to, physically to their store and, and get support. So, I don't know. I just want to keep you guys posted. Beware. Um, with Motorola, don't, I wouldn't do it right now. I wouldn't buy it, but uh, any device, because if this is their newest flagship device and I'm having this issue, I mean, obviously the other ones, you know, you're going to have them too, and you're going to be stuck with a $800 phone that doesn't work the way it should. So anyways, hope this helped you guys. Later.